Just a quick disclaimer before we start explaining the game, this video is not meant to be an in-depth technical explanation of the game. The new 2025 FIRST Robotics Competition game is Reefscape, presented by Haas. Two alliances of three teams each compete to earn points by harvesting algae, seeding coral on the reef, and returning to the barge to ascend to the ocean surface. But first, there are a few big rule changes this year, such as shorter alliance selections at competitions, the weight limit being lowered by 10 pounds to 115, and last, new rules that allow for stronger bumpers. The game includes two types of pieces, the coral and algae game pieces. The coral game piece is nearly a foot long tube that is four inches wide, and the algae game piece is a 16 inch playground ball. The robot can hold a maximum of one of each game piece. For Reefscape, there are four field elements, the reef, the coral station, the barge, and the processor. The reef is a field element where the coral is scored. It has four levels, the bottom of which is a trough. The next two levels are angled tubes, and the top level are vertical tubes. Barge is a field element where the algae can be scored. Additionally, robots can climb the barge's cages to surface for extra points. The processor is a field element where algae can be scored. Additionally, after an algae is scored into the processor, the human player can score it into the barge. Robots start each match in their starting area and may be preloaded with one coral game piece. The field starts with 18 algae and 6 coral, 3 algae stocked on, on top of 3 coral on each side, and 6 algae on each reef. During the first 15 seconds of the match, robots are autonomous and can be programmed to leave the starting air, area for three points, remove algae from their reef and score for four to six points, and place coral on their reef for three to seven points. During the following two minutes and 15 seconds of the match, drivers take manual control of the robot. Robots can shoot algae into their net on the barge and collect coral from human players at the coral station uh, to place on the reef. Coral placed on the bottom level of the reef is worth two points, with, the extra, with one extra point per scoring at each higher level. Robots can also deliver algae to the processor. Once processed, algae can be taken by a human player and scored in the net for four points. When two algae are delivered to each processor, both lines earn a cooperation point. The cooperation point reduces the number of coral needed to earn a ranking point and influences the team's rank in the tournament. As time runs out, robots race back to their barge to hang onto their cage and ascend to the ocean surface for between 2 to 12 points per robot depending on the level uh, that they climb. At the end of the match, both points and ranking points are tallied. A ranking point is a point used to determine a team's rank in a tournament with a maximum of 5 ranking points available in each match. If you win, you get 2 ranking points, 1 for a tie and 0 for a loss. Another ranking point can be earned if all 3 robots in the alliance leave the starting zone and score at least one coral onto the reef in the autonomous period. Yet another ranking point can be obtained by scoring at least 14 or more points at the barge. The last ranking point that can be earned from the is from the climb by scoring at least five coral on all four levels. The last ranking point that can be earned is from the reef by scoring at least five coral on all four levels of the, the reef, or in the case of those who earn a cooperation bonus, at least five coral on three levels of their reef. Thank you so much for tuning into this game explanation. Be sure to catch our week one update coming out next Saturday. See you then.